the biggest thing is people just don't realize how difficult it is being a cop. There's no room for error. Nobody wants to hear that you made a mistake. Even my wife, she'll see something on the news and she'll say, what's wrong with that cop? My name's Steve Osborne, and I was a New York City police officer for 20 years. In New York, people call 911 for the police over 4 million times a year. And that's everything from the most mundane to the most heinous crimes you could imagine. 99.99% of the times, everything goes okay. You just hear about that very small percentage of the time when something goes wrong. Take like the Eric Garner case, for example. I didn't show anything. I did nothing. We sitting here the whole time on our business. The store owners are making their money off of selling cigarettes and soda and beer and things like that. And he's out front hawking his uh, Lucy's for half the price. The average police officer don't really care. This guy's selling loose cigarettes. It's not the biggest crime in the world. But the store owners complain to the police department. Do something about this guy. So the police department tells, tells the cops, do something about it. Every time you see me, you want to mess with me. I'm tired of it. It stops today. Everybody's standing here. They told you I didn't do nothing. If you're going to arrest somebody and they start waving their arms around, no, I'm not going, not this time. I'm minding my business. Please just leave me alone. I told you the last time. Please just leave me alone. Well, what do you expect us to do? Pack up, say, hey, have a nice day. We get in our cars, we go home. It doesn't work that way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't touch me, please. Okay, over. Don't touch me. Gave us a bag of baby shit. Damn. 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 When they grabbed him around the neck and took him down to the ground, that's the way you make an arrest. When a guy starts fighting with you, you get him around the neck, you get him down to the ground, and you get him handcuffed as quickly as possible. Because the sooner he's restrained, the less of a danger he is, and the situation's under control. <laughs> Unfortunately, it ended up badly. But you can't blame the cops for... They were doing what they were told. They were doing what the right thing was. This work is not for everyone. I will say that there are certain individuals in the police department that should have picked another profession. But 95% of the cops, even more, that I've met out there are just decent, hardworking people trying to go out, trying to do the job the best they can, and go home in one piece at the end of the night. I think people don't realize how difficult it is night after night after night having to make split-second life and death decisions and always having to be right. I was lucky, I mean, I was right most of the time. <laughs>